Hey guys, let me show you three versions of the same video from one of my short films. So what do you think? If you have not seen that short film, I will leave it somewhere here and also I'll leave a link in the description. So ending an audio is always a bit of a challenge. I mean you have a song that you like that you want to be added with your next video but the issue is the length, maybe the song is a bit long than your video and you just uh, chop it off and that's the first example that you saw just cutting it right there and in the second example I just added a small fade in it's somewhat okay but it's still not up to the mark but what you see in movies and movie trailers is something else see the third example once again and you'll note the difference <laughs> So now you can see that it's a smooth ending of your audio, not just abruptly cut right there. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how that is done. Okay, so this is the video that we have. So as you can see, it's a very long audio. So just choose a point where you like the audio to end. For me, it's right here. I want the audio to end before it goes to the next shot. So I'm going to trim this all the way here. So now if I hit play, it's very abrupt. So what you have to do is you make a cut a few frames before that and then you just copy and paste this audio right here. So you can press option on your keyboard and just drag it here. So another copy is created on this layer. And what you need to do is just increase this to a little bit. Now what you need to do is, you know, this is where you want the audio to end. So come select this audio, press a keyframe on the volume and go to the next frame and make this value minus 90. We are not done yet, but now if I play, still it sounds worse. So now is where you want to add in a reverb effect. For that, come to effects under audio effects just search for reverb and just drag and drop it to this second audio layer. So once that is done, this dialog box will come. Uh, the very first thing that you need to change is the room size. Now it is set to 250 meters square. You need to change this to about uh, 45 to 50. I'm going to leave it at uh, 45. And the very next thing you need to adjust is the reverb time. I'm going to put it to all the way to 4000. Then I'm going to leave all this as it is. Then in the output dry wet, I'm going to change this to a value like 80. And also the reverb to about minus 8. Yeah, about there. Now if I hit play. There's a nice reverb effect that's going on. So I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you each and everyone who have subscribed to this channel. It really means a lot. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.